In this video, uh, we will talk about uh, plants' immunity, how the plant's disease resistant mechanism work against pathogens, specific pathogens and non specific pathogens, or we can call it elicitors that induce the defense response. So the disease resistant mechanism can be innate, the innate structures and chemicals inside of the cell by nature. And the other one is induced defense response. The innate structures and chemicals are that they are given to the plants or the cell walls made up made out of cellulose the cuticle the waxy material that does not only uh, stop the water loss but stop pathogens to enter the, into the leaf antimicrobial chemicals like uh, nicotine naturally occurs in some of the plants and enzyme inhibitors that they inhibit the growth of pathogens these are given in the um, plant but what happens when an in when a elicitor an antigen enters the the cell because they were able to pass the innate structures and chemicals so elicitor or antigen is something that induces the defense response this is basically the immune system of the plants they are not they don't have adaptive or acquired immunity such as uh, the vertebrates so one of them is the general immunity the other one is the specific immunity under the induced defense response the general immunity works with non-specific elicitors and the plant recognize the antigen or the elicitor by pattern it's not specifically recognized but the plant recognize it as something that is not good for it on the other hand the specific immunity is triggered by a specific elicitor both of them the general immunity and the specific immunity all of them induce signaling pathways so this is really important for ap biology the cell signaling they are hammering uh, on cell signaling and this is a great example how the plant's uh, defense mechanism responds to elicitors or foreign attackers foreigners so the outcomes are pretty much the same for the general immunity and specific immunity most of the times they produce uh, the plants start to produce chemicals such as nitrogen uh, oxide or hydrogen peroxide that by their nature they are antimicrobial uh, materials cell wall reinforcement can happen also producing more lignin and the lignin also uh, would block the plasmodesmara that facilitates cell communication between the cells and cell uh, material flow so it will be blocked the third one is uh, production of signaling hormones such as cel uh, salicylic acid or jasmonic acid that they signal to the neighboring cells that danger is coming or might come through the plasmodesmata and uh, those cells are already damaged and the fourth one is turning on genes some genes to produce microbial enzymes or proteins to block the reproduction of the elicitors so these are the four ones that they deal with cell signaling as well as there's a specific response for specific immunity and this response is the hypersensitive response this happens only uh, 
when the plant recognize a specific elicitor. A uh, hypersensitive response uh, happens when actually it is apoptosis, the death of the cell, whatever cell got infected and several of the cells around the infection to stop the spread of the infection. Here is the leaf and on the lower left area there will be a spot that it's infected. Around that infection all of the cells would go through apoptosis, they will die to stop the spreading. So uh, cell signaling activates enzymes and the enzyme, the specific enzyme would hydrolyze proteins inside of the cells, nuclear envelopes, as well as the nucleic acid, so the cell around the infection would die off to not to spread the infection furthermore in the plant. These are the brown spots, usually what we can find on the leaves due to the infection. So cell signaling is really important in here too.